Auzu billahi minash-shaitanir racim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahu wa la hayya la hayya ya qayyum. 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 Allahu wa la hayya Ana hayyu ya qayyum Allahu wa ana hayyu ana hayyu ya qayyum Allahu wa ana hayyu ana hayyu ya qayyum Emanetkum ya sayyidi Rasul-i Karim habibim azam azim nuzul hana wa shuhana wa bidunya bi madadikum wa nazarakum madad ya sayyidi ya sultan al awliya min shaykh Abdul Faiz Daghestani Sultan Shaykh Muhammad Azam Abdul Hakani Imam Nur Shaykh Hasan Kabani Shaykh Hatan Kabani Shaykh Muhammad Adil Imam Khalid Al Khushtawani Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam wa Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam. Tuma Sahib Bakr Sadiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hassan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidatina Fatima al-Tuzar alayhi salam alayhi salam. Usair wa sadatina wa ibarakatah wa iladatah Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidina Abbas alayhi salam, Sayyidina Zayn al-Abideen alayhi salam, Ya Rabbi dress us from their lights, bless us from their lights, that their nazar, their madad and their the endless and infinite blessings to be dressed upon our soul and to, to guide us through oceans of difficulty inshaAllah. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha Ishabad ya Rasuli Kareem Fa'awzu billahi min shaitan al-radeem <coughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Atiullah Atiya Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum And always a reminder for myself and Abdukul Aji Sudai for miskeen, uzalim, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah gave us these holy months and the, the birth of light and the reality of a secret wanting to be known, Divinely secret wanting to be known with the realities of, of Raja and Atiullah, that obedience to Allah that a treasure wanting to be known. And alhamdulillah Allah bringing into existence Muhammadun Rasulullah for Atiya Rasul and that all, all reality is to follow the proclamation and the guidance of Sayyidina Muhammad of all the Prophets, all the angels, all the Siddiqs, all the awliya, everything is to follow the command of Sayyidina Muhammad and then alhamdulillah Allah from the light of Prophet brings into existence all creation and that has to do with Ati Allah Ati Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum and the reality of the Ulul Amr and the reality of Ramadan and the immense blessings of Ramadan and the blossoming of existence, the blossoming of creation that coming from that ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah And the only way to understand that reality of Atiullah and the reality of Rajab and the only way to understand the reality of Atiya Rasul and the reality of Shaban is in Allah's gift of Ramadan. That from Atiyullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum means that Allah's obedience to Allah like a rope that comes down. It's not meant for people to think that they can follow the command of Allah means in a statement that they have to follow the command but in a path of humility you know yourself and say that it's impossible to follow the command of Allah And as a rahmah and as a mercy Allah extended that rope from this reality of creation coming into existence to Atiya Rasul that nobody's going to follow, really follow to the extent of what Allah wants, nobody can follow my command except the one whom I created for the reality to follow my command and that his whole existence and reality is to follow the command of Allah and that becomes 
the birth of the reality of the existence of Sayyidina Muhammad that Muhammadun Rasulullah that is created. So it's not something from the earth that Allah pointed, okay you now this, you know you are this and now you are this. These are from the world of light in which Allah when creating creation and wanting creation to come into existence and wanting to be known through that reality, Allah named at that time that reality that now come into existence, Kul Fayakun and Muhammadun Rasulullah is the birth of that light that now begins to come into existence. From that light Allah began to partition, from this light will come my angels, from this light of Muhammad Rasulullah will come all my heavens, all my paradises, the, the might and the majesty of the Divinely Throne. Means from the reality of that light Allah began to bring all of creation into existence. And the immensity and the rahmah of trying to follow that is impossible. That it's not a simple way, it's not an easy path. And so Allah again extended a rahmah and a mercy is that, wa ulul amri minkum and follow those in authority over you. And as a result of those in authority that's the secret and the blessings of Ramadan means that Rajab to really be dressed by Rajab is impossible. That's why everything about Rajab is imitation. The Ya Rabbi we're coming into the month of Rajab, we're trying to, to make these du'as of asking istighfar and that I'm an oppressor to myself. If you read Shaykh Abdul Faiz Daghestani Sultan al Awliya's du'as during the whole 30 days of Rajab was that I'm an oppressor to myself, that I'm, I'm nothing, I'm no one Ya Rabbi, I'm not able to follow what you had wanted when you created that reality. and from the light that you took from me from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah that noble and magnificent light, I'm not living up to that standard. So that's not something that we can achieve and only Allah come into our lives to teach us that. So we're imitating in Rajab all the practices. And then Allah grants for us then to understand the month of Shaban is the one whom can achieve that was brought on Israhi wal Miraj on the 27th of Rajab. Means then sit and observe the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah in the holy month of Shaban. Means then we're understanding now that Ya Rabbi then it's a sign of humility that I can't achieve what Allah wants, what really wants from Him. The people who tune in say, oh no, no we only fawal Allah, we go for Jummah and that's it. That's not what we're talking about, that's kindergarten people who don't have any understanding of what Allah really wanted for insan, the level of taslim, the level of perfection. So with humility we back and say, Ya Rabbi there's no way that I can achieve that, I know that myself, La ilaha anta subhanika inni kuntum minad dhalimeen, that glory be to you Ya Rabbi and that I am an oppressor to myself. So we don't need to approach the Divine with arrogance and as a result Allah opened for us this love and understanding. Because I think many people say that, oh when they… before coming to tariqah they didn't even know the significance of Raja other than Israhi wal Miraj and that was usually a fundraiser at the masjid. They didn't even know what the, the month of Shahban and the importance of the month of Shahban. And so, oh Shab al Barat, no, then they would argue about its validity and all sorts of ridiculous things. But the grace and the rahmah of Allah that opened these tariqah realities, and then as soon as you come into the tariqah, they teach the realities of this marifah, this Gnosticism, the immensity of the oceans of knowledge that are but a like a tip of an iceberg that people are understanding, the mass, the mass of the reality is not known and this is only blessings of tariqah. So they come into the month of Shahban and as a result of being again humbled that the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad is not something that I can achieve, not something that I can fully understand but my life is to move towards that reality. 
to have the love for Prophet to keep that Divinely presence, to keep that Divinely companionship. And Laylatul Nisf al-Shabban then is the midpoint between La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah because it's manifesting in Ramadan and then the secret is all the way in the realities of Rajab that can't be achieved. So between these 90 days the center of them is on the 15th of Shahban. So from Muhammadun Rasulullah and Ramadan everything is manifesting, the nation has manifested. The secret of Ramadan or Al-Amri Minkum is that everything has manifested so this becomes Muhammadun Rasul. And then meeting from Rasul in the middle of Shaban and then completing all the way to La ilaha illallah is the finale in Rajab. So means that the Nisf al-Shahban is the point where Muhammad La ilaha illallah because it's the reverse way is meeting Muhammadun Rasulullah so means that that humility of not being able to understand that reality and our approach and our love for Prophet means that we move ourselves with humility that, Ya Rabbi I want to achieve what these awliyaullah are teaching. I want to achieve these realities and all this ishq and this love and then Allah's rahmah and mercy is the holy month of Ramadan. Then Allah said, I'm going to dress you from my Rajab realities. I'm going to dress you from the Shabban and the love and the ishq and the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah <coughs> So what he granted as a gift for this nation is the holy month of Ramadan. Excuse me. <coughs> Ramadan's immensity is that Allah wants to grant the gift and then teaches with humility, this gift is so immense and so unimaginable that there's nothing you can do to achieve it. And the only way I'm going to give this to you is that in these 30 days you fast for me. To show that the greatest reward that God is going to give us it's not something from our actions. It's not that you're praying and you'll get these rewards in these stations. It's not that you gave and you'll get these stations. Teaching us it's not our aman, it's not our actions. But enter a state of fasting as a result, I will dress you, I will dress and I will complete my religion upon you. I'll complete my favours upon you. That's why then the secret of Laylatul Qadr is the dress of what Prophet was achieving for the nation on Israhi wal Maraj. That such a Rasul Kareem, such a generous Prophet in which whatever he achieves he wants for the nation. That what was achieved on Israhi wal Maraj becomes the dress and the reality of Laylatul Qadr. Means why? Where Laylatul Qadr, Laylatul Qadr is coming? Why is it coming? It's the dress of what came on the 27th of Israhi wal Maraj of Raja. That I want my nation to achieve these Ya Rabbi, I want to intercede for them and what's the benefit of giving to me if I can't give to them and Allah's rahmah and mercy because the immensity is that somebody just take for themselves a station and go. But the immensity of the love that the Divine has and the whole system is rigged for us to win. The whole system is based on immense muhabbat and love The Prophet wants for his nation, for what he received from himself. So let them to be dressed by these realities and then Allah bring into existence Laylatul Qadr. That all these nights and all these blessings 
that on this Laylatul Qadr I'm going to dress you from the Ramadan secrets, I'm going to bless you from Ramadan secrets, sit on this gate of 27 and that whatever Sayyidina Muhammad is achieving of these lights and these immense blessings, address your soul from its immensities and dress with that blessing and that barakah. And then Allah describes, أَنزَنْهُ فِي لَيْلَةَ الْقَادْرُ وَمَدْرَكَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَادْرُ لَيْلَةَ الْقَادْرُ خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ That you can sit a lifetime and nothing is compared to what this dress, if the Muhammadan dress begins to dress the servant, Allah is a whole lifetime of blessings that it can't be understood and imagined. That's the immensity of that, of that blessing. So then these three months is Allah's immense dress and immense blessings. Now coming before us is Laylatul Nisf al-Shahban where La ilaha illallah is Allah who is a touching that ocean of qawba qawsaini wa adana. And that he who mim is then opening up the, res- the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah. So, La ilaha illallah is the Rajab facing and as soon as you enter into Shabban then you're coming into Muhammadun Rasulullah. So from the Allah and the H from Allah has a wow and then connects to the meme of Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why then Nisf al-Shahban has to do with what's written upon the soul written upon the Muhammadan soul, that in that reality of, of that light coming into existence, that's the point in which Allah is writing the destiny, that's the night of destiny, writing the goodness, the rizq, the provision, what's coming for that year of who's coming, who's going, immensity, immense, immense blessings, immense barakah, immense realities within that night. And we pray that Allah will give us the, the goodness, the immensity of that goodness, our rizq to be in, in blessed, our, our health to be blessed, our faith and deen to be blessed, blessed with this immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and that the, the love for Prophet grant us a love to be with Sayyidina Mahdi and to give us an umrah and a life to see those days and to partake in that reality, to be dressed by that reality and blessed by that reality. Means then Shaban is a month in which is the ishq and the love of Prophet And that to be dressed by this love and to pray that Allah grant us to reach towards the 14th of Shaban, to be dressed by Laylatul Bara and then as a result we pray Salat al Khair which is the hundred rakah. And for people whom their health is not good, they can pray that sitting down. So there should be no reason why somebody can't do the prayers because the physical may be a bit difficult on their legs or knees. But from a chair you pray hundred rakahs to fulfill that love for Allah and for Prophet so that they can dress us from that goodness and that blessings. And it's advised to do a qurban at that time to be charitable, to be loving, to have good practices, be kindness to family. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with these lights of Shaban that opening and that Sayyidina Muhammad to be happy with us and that Holy Nazar to be upon us, to dress us, forgive us our wrongs and to bless our families, ourselves, and our communities inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. بحرمة محمد مصطفى وبسير سورة الفاتحة